Hey, Ed Ballou back in action. We're at the home of Shauna Coronado right in Warrenville, Illinois. We're going to be doing a beautiful rainwater capture system. Shauna, could you give us a few words about yourself? Great to meet you. I am an author and I wrote a book called Gardening Nude, which sounds so <laughs> naughty, but it's really a green lifestyle book. And I'm trying to educate people on sustainability. And one of the really cool things I've done is ripped out the front lawn here and planted a vegetable garden. <laughs> and one important feature of that is being able to maintain it. Oh, awesome. That's exactly what we're going to bring here. We're going to dig out a 500 gallon rain exchange system. It's going to be located right here. We're going to capture all the water coming off of the roof right behind us. And it's going to create a beautiful, inviting space as people come off before they enter the home. This is a sustainable garden. We're going to be using all this water to water the beautiful vegetable garden and the surrounding perennials. This is going to be an awesome project and we're looking forward to it. Good morning, we're back at the home of Shauna Coronado and it's construction day. Behind me, you see all the components for a 500 gallon rain exchange system, which is gonna have a booster pump. This is gonna allow us access to all the stored water for irrigation for the entire front of the property. We have already stripped away the sod, then we laid out the configuration for our 500 gallon system. I'm gonna mark it out, then we'll start our excavation. Our excavation is finally completed. We just came in with some uh, rakes and hand tools to level out the bottom and cut out any of the, the roots, twigs, and gravel and stuff like that that's located down in the bottom. Our next step is to come in with two to three inches of sand. That's going to allow us a nice level pad to work off of. On top of the sand goes an underlayment fabric, then the rubber lining. That's what's responsible for holding the water in position. On top of the liner goes our snorkel and centipede. This will be positioned all the way down here at the deepest portion. That's where the pump is gonna sit. This allows us access to all of the stored water. The rest of this space will be filled in with our Aquablox water matrix units, and then we backfill around the outside perimeter with sand. It's that simple. I'm standing right at the corner of the home, right next to the downspout. This is our catchment point for all the water coming off of the roof. The key is we don't wanna let that water flow down into the reservoir without going through a pre-filter. That's what this unit is for. So here's our downspout filter located right here at the base. We will extend off from the downspout into our filter. There's a micron mesh inside of that that's going to capture all those pollutants and allows us easy access for maintenance, which is typically once a year. From here, the water is going to overflow out through a simple uh, four inch drain pipe that's going to go by gravity over into our reservoir. It's been a productive afternoon. As you can see, we've completed backfilling our aqua box and we've covered it up with a specialized fabric that keeps the small gravel from going down inside the reservoir while allowing the water still from our decorative piece to go back down into that reservoir. We've also set in some large character boulders over in the background because we had a slight elevation change and it's gonna give a little bit of interest over here to the back of our system. Behind me, you can see our trench that's been laid out. That has our drainage pipe as well as the piping that's gonna take the water back up to our booster pump. That drainage pipe's taking all the water off of the roof right back down into our reservoir. Final steps are here. All we have to do, connect up the plumbing to our decorative piece, trim up our liner, put in the decorative gravel, and wrapping things up. The project's complete and it looks awesome. For this particular project, we chose our slate urn and it creates the sight as well as sound, which I believe is critical during any proper water feature design because the sound is what draws the people in closer for inspection. Once they're here, they can see this beautiful garden that Sean has had several weeks to complete. Mm -hmm. I love it. What do you oh, think of everything? You. you know, the best part about this is that I live in a normal everyday home. Everyday people can do something good for the environment. Since it's a rain exchange program, I'm able to, you know, recycle the rainwater right off my roof. And it's beautiful to top it all off. So I, I love it. I love it. Thanks very much for coming out. I love the urn. It's recycled, right? It is. It's all it's recycled plastics, uh, which is great for the whole sustainability angle of everything. Wonderful. Well, that's what I'm all about. Absolutely. So thanks for coming out and fixing me up. Not a problem. It's been an awesome project overall. She's been able to use all that rainwater for this beautiful garden. It's been a great project. I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>